everyone. Um, since it seems to be the uh, the big topic uh, this last week, I want to talk a little bit about Friday the 13th uh, movies. First, I want to say, uh, if you haven't already, go to deadpit.com and download the free... Uh, Friday the 13th Part 5 commentary that Paramount didn't want you to hear. Uh, it's great. Uh, and while you're there, definitely buy uh, their new Return of the Living Dead commentary and any other ones you don't have. Because they're all good, and you should have them all. Uh, other than that, I wanted to talk a little bit about Friday the 13th Part 2 that I imagine will probably be coming out next year. Um, basically, I just want to, not that they're ever going to watch this, but I just want to offer some suggestions that I think would help with the next film in the series. Uh, the first one for me that most people don't really talk about is they need uh, to fire Damien Shannon and Mark Swift, who wrote the screenplay for the remake. They also wrote the screenplay for Freddy vs. Jason. Now, Freddy vs. Jason is very silly, but I can have fun with it. Uh, but the script for the remake was so-so. You know, I mean, it's not, it's, not, uh, it's not that good. And the thing is, you know, you could say the screenplay doesn't matter that much, but it does. It, it's really... You need inventive kills, and you need memorable characters. And you don't need underground layers and all this other, well, backstory shit. That doesn't matter. It's just, you know. And I know that New Line don't want to fire those two because the last two... Friday films they wrote were big box office successes. But it's not the script that, that makes that a big hit. It's Jason. Jason draws the box office. That's it. You know, if you make a Friday the 13th movie, people will go and see it. It doesn't matter how good it is. So, that's clearly. But, uh, the other thing, and this has been talked about a lot, is they need to get Harry Manfredini back or at least somebody who knows a thing or two about scoring a film. Uh, because the, the score on this last one just doesn't cut it, you know. It just didn't... And, and something like that would really help... help it feel more like a, an old Paramount Friday the 13th film. Uh, so I think that's important. Uh, another thing, I think they should keep Derek Mears. I think most people agree that he did a pretty decent job. Uh... You know, if they want to go for that larger Jason next time around, definitely keep him. If they want to go for somebody a little smaller, you know, I'm sure there's lots of good options, lots of good actors out there. Uh, but I liked him, so, you know, that's one thing they shouldn't change, I think. Uh, the big thing is, <laughs> New Line needs to learn how to hire directors and needs to stop hiring music video directors. There are so many, you know, there's been all this talk lately about... Um, Danny Steinman and uh, Tom D. Simone and all these classics, you know, 80s, uh, 70s and 80s directors who can't get a job to save their life. They're highly accomplished. They've made some great films. Yet they sit there and they give these jobs to these young guys with no experience who couldn't direct a film with... with uh, it's... I don't know. There are so many talented directors out there out of work yet they keep insisting on getting these nobodies from music videos. And, you know, again, if they want it to be flashy and modern for the young teens, they don't give a shit. It's got Jason in it, and that's all people care about, you know. And they don't need to uh, try and play down to that audience. It's, it's a big mistake. Uh, so, hire some real fun. Look at the guy who directed... Uh, um, Laid to rest, you know. Uh, I'm not a big uh, fan of that movie, but look at the kills in that movie. I mean, that guy 
could give you some very satisfying Jason kill sequences. And, and that's the other thing these films really need, is they need more inventive kill sequences. You know, the days of stomach stabs and shit like that are, are, are you know, kind of done. Uh, and that's the thing people take away from those movies a lot, is those, those moments, those kills. So they need to be memorable, or your film won't be memorable. And, I don't know, maybe they don't care, maybe they don't want their film to be memorable. I would think they'd want to, since it would help DVD sales, but... Uh, I don't know. So that's my thing. You, you know, I, there was talk about the next one being set during the winter period. I'm like, that's interesting. That's fine. But I'm sorry. The Mark Shannon and Damian Swift just don't know what fans actually want anymore. And I hate to be the bitchy fan type, you know. But the non-fans are going to go see it no matter what. And this remake proves that. So, you know, make something we actually want to see. You know, and it's not like I despise the remake, but... It, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot more. Um, and it's just disappointing. So, that's my kind of, I don't know, I didn't really <laughs> spend too much time thinking about this, and I could have writ something out a little better, but uh, and I am kind of whining a bit, but that's that's just how I feel. So, hopefully, hopefully the next one will be better. Hopefully this Nightmare on Elm Street remake will be decent. You know, uh, I don't know. Until then, guys, take it easy.